welcome back to my channel. I went to the Dollar Tree. It's going to be a two-parter because I brought my husband and he spent a lot of money. And I know you guys are always giving me a hard time, but really, he spent a lot of money. So we're going to do it quickly because it's $40, $40 each or it was $80 total. So we're going to split it up. I have all the holiday stuff separate and this I wanted to share with you right away because I want you to be able to get them if you see them. But they are tote bags. Now I did find a tote bag similar to this a couple of months ago, but these are on this really pretty like natural colored canvas. And I just thought that the fabric alone would be great for DIYs. But there's this one that says, here is a hedgehog. And it's got this really cute little hedgehog on it. And then this one says, have a nice day. It's really cute font. This one says, just be you, which is kind of going to be my new motto. And look, it even matches my shirt. And work hard, play hard. And that reminds me of a friend of mine. Um, so I got those four, the f only four that they had. Um, we went to the Dollar Tree that was in Cuba, Missouri today. And it was like, we kick butt, clean up. But I really do want to go fast because there's a lot of stuff to get through. Like I said, Jim was with me. Jim picked out a lot of different things. Jim picked out these diabetic friendly black socks in the crew. Uh, actually, they say quarter. They're quarter socks, but size is 6 to 12. And he picked up two packages. Each package has one pair. So he picked up two of those. Jim doesn't have diabetes. He just likes the loose socks. He also picked up the full cushion. One pack is three pairs of socks. And he picked up those as well in white. He grabbed some cinnamon and brown sugar breakfast biscuits. You get six. Um, but I know we checked the dates are good. I just don't want to have to try to find that for you now. But um, I guess it's sort of like the Velveeta cookies, I guess. But he loves the cinnamon brown sugar Velveeta cookies too. So we picked up those. I'm just going to try them and he'll let you know. You should check over his channel. I bet you he'll do a review. <laughs> I picked up three. I thought I got four. But I picked up three more packages of my favorite wipes. And... I picked up one package of the flushable wipes. I usually keep the uh, Walmart flushable wipes in my purse for while I'm out and about. And they, I actually didn't realize that I had used my last one while I was at the Dollar Tree. So I was like, let me just pick this up in case we're going to still have adventures out. Today was date day. And date day encompassed a lot of different things. But going to the Dollar Tree was definitely on the list. Also in Cuba is the Jack in the Box, and we tried these new mini tacos, tiny tacos. Oh my gosh, you get 15, and they're just so they were so good. Um, this is what I just said to him when he he went inside because he was drinking at dinner, so he wanted to go not be on camera. Um, I said, "Oh, you got these?" He picked up four solar lights. Um, he said we well he wanted to replace them. Spring comes, he usually likes to replace them. These ones are really pretty. They have like sort of that diamond pattern um, and they have black or really they look metallic, but they're plastic um, gray bottoms and this really pretty diamond pattern on the, the top as well. He picked up four of them. We usually do two at, two at the end of the driveway and two towards the poles. We sort of have like our carport has walls, but they're poles. Um, this is all just mismatched in here. Um, this is a dual spot dual sided bath pad um and what it is is it's basically like a like a sponge like i'm a sponge but like a it's a scrubby on this side and then like a washing pad on the other side um actually take it out i kind of feel it was left over from valentine's day gifts but i never saw it before but it was in that sort of type of box so it's got the elastic and it's got a like a the plastic sort of loofah thing there and then just like a terry cloth washer on the back um so i got that in gray that's for me he picked these out he's so funny he goes i'm gonna be 50 in july as you know and he goes we'll do it like this but then we'll switch it 
and I was like, one's my age and one's, one's my biological age, my physical age and one's my mental age. That's what I was saying. He also picked up four of the Absorbing Junior Extra Large back patches. Those are the ones that he really likes. They do stretch to fit his back just like that, but he also likes them for other parts of his body too. So, um, Actually, let me put them here for a second. He also found these, which were new. We never saw them before. Um, they're by, Cor it looks like Corzine. Get some glasses here. Sorry. They're pain relief patches. Coralite, I'm sorry. You get 20 small patches, two and a half inches by one and a half inches. So they're real small, almost like a little bigger than a band, like a big band aid, because one inch is like here and two inches is like your whole thumb. Um, but they're just like for small areas. Do you see that? And he has been having this one spot on his knee that bothers him every once in a while. So he's tried those. He's like, you get 20 for a dollar, we'll try them. Even if you have to use two, you know. His favorite notebooks. <laughs> if you've been around for a while, Jim loves these. He loves to keep them in his cargo pant pocket. They, you get three little composition type notebooks in a pack for a dollar. And each one has 50 pages. And he loves this for like his schedule, notes, uh, prayer rememories, like memories or whatever, like somebody comes in and tells him like a story, he'll write down the person's name for prayer requests and stuff. So he really does, um, he's such a good man. I know he has issues, but don't, don't we all? Okay. He also picked up these for his planner, their jot. Um, they had a variety of different ones, but he thought these ones were pretty cool for what he, for his needs. And it basically repeats on the back. It says you get 58 stickers. I picked up some more sponges. These Brillo Estracel is like my go-to whenever I have to get sponges at the Dollar Tree. Um, I like them. The scrubby is really nice. Um, and it doesn't really separate from the sponge as much as other ones do. And say what you want about sponges. I've only used sponges my whole life. I use dish rags to clean the sink and wipe the counters and stuff. but. It's just sponges for me. But, you know, put them. I run them through the dishwasher, make sure that they're rinsed really well. And then every, I don't know, like once a month, I might soak it in some bleach water just to disinfect it really good. But I think the trick to that is to not, not go too long without using it. If that makes any sense, you know? Use your sponge every day and really don't give the opportunity for bacteria to grow my tip from me to you. Um, he also picked up his favorite pens. These are eight ballpoint pens and the click, the chip, <laughs> clip and clicks. Um, he loves these, these are his favorite. I think they have a half millimeter one. Oh no, this is a whole, this is a whole millimeter um, size ink. Now these I saw at the register. There are a few things at the register, but these I saw at the register and I knew I just had to share, I had to get them. They are prayer cards, and aren't those beautiful? First of all, the packaging, um, they're absolutely stunning. They have these beautiful pastel with flowers, and this one's white and pink on the back. And it gives you an idea of some of the samples of the prayer cards that are in there. And these are just so lovely to stick in to, um, if you're sending a note to somebody, if you're, you know, pass somebody in the street, if you keep these in your cards and you just think you see somebody that needs a prayer, um, then just definitely keep these. You get 20 in each package um, and they're absolutely stunning. You also can just use them as daily devotionals. I mean, you know, it says inspirational prayer and scripture cards for yourself and others. So I have one more bag and then one, well, I'll show you really quick. I picked up one foam board, poster board, um, because we have a fun Easter dupe coming up. And I finally found white ones and I was, they had five of them and I was gonna buy four of them. And Jimmy's like, what do you need them for? And I'm like, just for every like little thing. And he's like, what do you need them for? And I'm like, all right. So I said, can I get two? He said, okay. So I picked up two. If you've not seen these before, they have these in red and white. The red ones have white inside and they are like these cute little ramekins. 
and they're pretty decent size. They look like they're well over a cup, maybe 12 ounces. Um, and they kind of nest, but not really too deep, which is nice. And they're heavy duty, like stoneware. They're nice, I like that. He also picked up some big composition notebooks. Now these composition notebooks are the flexible ones, which is something he's interested in um, for when he puts them, I don't know if he's gonna use them for gaming or Bible study or both, or maybe ones for gaming so and ones for Bible study. Who knows? The world may never, only the shadow knows. He picked up a Sharpie Ultra Fine. I don't know why, I have 27 of these, but okay. Don't talk to your wife, Jim. Just go ahead and throw it at Chuck. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. He can absolutely get whatever he wants. Um, so that's a Sharpie Ultra Fine, and you get one for a dollar. And then he picked up a 2020 Weekly Planner. You know, we talk about our addictions. Like, I love dish towels. I collect dish towels. I collect coffee mugs. This has to be his third 2020 planner from the Dollar Tree alone plus his day runner, plus his big planner, plus the one on his phone. <laughs> but hey, keeps him out of the bar. No, I'm just kidding. Where is all of this coming from? And the last two items are more food, um, which I'm gonna put. Um, when we moved over our pantry, we realized that mom likes these little cups of peanut butter and hers were expired. So I bought her another pack just, uh, Basically, there was just one left and it was expired, so I threw it out. So I just bought her another three pack. This is the GIF to go, smooth, that's the kind she likes. Um, and they're just individual cups. And she likes this because it stays fresher. Um, a big jar, she opens it, she feels like it gets stale very fast. And I found GIF to go chocolate silk. So this is a peanut butter chocolate spread. I, I, so if you've never had, or if you've ever heard of Nutella, Nutella is a hazelnut chocolate spread. So I'm imagining this is very similar, but I don't know because I've actually never tried it. Sounds delish, cannot wait to try it. And neither one of these expires. That, that one expires in the middle of like August of next year, and this one expires in December of next year. So I know, I don't know why I always tell you the dates, but some people care. So that's everything from So that's everything from the Dollar Tree non-holiday. Um, if you have any questions, or non-crafts too, because holidays and crafts. So I wanted to just jump on and show you some of the new finds that I found that I didn't buy, because you know, not endless supplies of money here. They did have some really cute new candles. Uh, they're donut, scent, do, donut scented, sure. They have pictures of donuts on them, and then they have ones that are in the, the first ones that were in these really pretty colored glasses, these gold dots were amazingly cute, um, as well as always, there's just really a whole bunch of different new things that I just haven't seen before. I bought all those bags, as you saw, but I just wanted to show that where they were. They're kind of on that where gloves are in my store. And then just a variety of Easter candy, including name brand candies. Um, some are good deals, and some are actually just, you pay a little bit more per ounce, but they're good for portion control. Like I really was thinking about, I should get those little Snickers because that will just be all the little Snickers that I'll have. If I get a big bag, I'm the only one who eats them and I'll eat them all. I mean, that's how that works. Um, and then the ton of toys. If you haven't gotten to the Dollar Tree for their Easter basket stuffing, ton of toys. These are the new to-go cups and I love them. I love them. You get two for a dollar. And then these were keychains that are rose bowls or flower bowls and they're so cute. And then I mentioned that leopard, white snow leopard before, but you could see the other ones back there. And then I wasn't sure, is this a nail file shaped like a cat only, or is it a nail file for cats? <laughs> These donut pens were super squishy. I really wanted to get one. Jim's like, what are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna squish it when I get mad. Um, and then of course they had other pom-pom keychains that looked like mermaids and narwhals. These narwhal pens were so cute. The narwhals all had different expressions on the front and back, and then from each other. And then they had these cute little trinket dishes in a variety of little um, designs. So they had this heart with the arrows, they had shine bright with the diamond, they had this one which is marble and they had the marble also in a round. Um, and then they had this donut one which is so cute. So absolutely stinking cute. 
If you guys have any questions at all, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family. Anybody you know might be interested in seeing what I picked up today at the Cuba, Missouri, Dollar Tree. And if you haven't yet, click subscribe. And when you do, a little bell will pop up. When you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. And go ahead and select the drop down menu, click the bell with the little huggy signs on it. And that time, they'll let, that way, they'll let you know every night I upload a video. Um, and if you haven't yet, check out my vlog channel. I don't post there every day like I post on this channel every day. Um, what I do is I post there whenever I feel like vlogging to like get stuff off my chest or just chat with my friends or whatever it is. Uh, praise my husband, complain about my husband. <laughs> praise YouTube, complain about YouTube. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, and a link for that is in the description box down below as well. Okay? And as always, you guys take care. God bless. I'll see you next time. Bye.